What's up everybody, it's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, in the middle of the Dragon event, pretty awesome event, especially for some of the guys in our clan that do nothing but Dragon Attack after Dragon Attack. The Dragons have made a comeback in Clash of Clans, they used to be very difficult to, to attack with in Town Hall 9, 10, 11, but they are, they are getting better and better, um, you'll see it all over YouTube, great attacks with Dragons up in the higher Town Hall levels, got, got, several different types of dragon attacks now uh, we have dave he's he's awesome player new to the clan learning how to do all this stuff so he's got a couple of his very first attempts kind of at these types of attacks and um they're not um they're, they're not going to be exactly what we were, what we want to do um still three stars you know still successful still good farm raids but i want to show you some of the things that we want to do a little differently kind of use dave as a guinea pig um, if you follow the channel, you'll, you know Dave's um, awesome, uh, awesome player from Crown, from Clash Royale, making a little uh, transfer over to to uh, to Clash of Clans. So, uh, still learning the ropes a little bit. You notice how he started off? He started off by using a, a large group of dragons right on that first point, that first tip, and then he put some dra uh, balloons in behind, which that's okay. But you want to start off all your dragon raids kind of the same way. Uh, we need to use a funnel. You have to funnel your troops into the base. These dragons, they will go around the outside of the base. They're notorious for it. And if you are attacking a, a base that's heavily upgraded and you use dragons and you go around the outside of the base, you are doomed. Uh, in case you missed that, uh, you're doomed. <laughs> so, step one. You want to funnel the troops into the base. It's, it's, a, it's a necessary... Um, Thing you have to do you got to get those troops going through the middle of the base really what you want to see is you want to see them lined up and going straight through the middle of the base instead of in big groups going around the outside you do that by starting off on two corners you'll pick a side any side you pick you know still the same principles still apply for your normal raids you want to still pull the clan castle troops out if possible you notice that he started off with that and then you're going to line up the you'll start off in two corners and instead of just uh telling you about it let's watch creeper creeper is one of the best in the business at dragon raids we have tons of content he's got his own page on the website speaking of the website that's www.clashmadeeasy.com go check it out it's one of the biggest clash websites out there uh, updated every day really proud of the site okay so creeper it says no rush this is one of creepers accounts um he is an elite attacker with dragons he can attack any town hall with dragons successfully so now notice how he started off a little different than the last attack with dave he starts off in two corners and starts working on these outer corners then he comes in the first thing he's going to do is try to take out that one air defense now he's putting dragons in on this on the side of the base the, and those dragons now look they have nowhere to go they have to go into the base so now you notice he's got everything going into the middle of the base instead of around the outside it looks easy it looks simple to do it's not i mean you have to know what you're doing to get the dragons to do what what, what you want if it was easy everyone would do it because dragons are big hefty troops they do a lot of damage per second they have tons of hit points yet a lot of people can't use dragons because they they can't get the dragons to cooperate they don't have them on a string on a leash whatever you want to call it uh, creeper on the other hand he does he has them in a big giant group in the middle of the base working their way towards the outside so just an awesome attack now i didn't really get to mention it but at the be beginning of the attack he starts off with a zap quake what a zap quake is using an earthquake spell and two lightning spells and as you get m a little more advanced with the spell usage you want to look for areas in the base. Now remember, you want to get the inside air defenses. You don't want to zap quick the outside air defenses that you can get to easily with the dragons and balloons. You want to get the inside ones. And you want to try to use one earthquake on more than one air defense if at all possible. Now here's Dave with another another uh, dragon attack. This is going to be the Goho. I'm sorry, Dragoho. <laughs> Some of these names. And again... Not the not perfectly executed. It's gonna seem like I'm kind of picking on Dave, but I'm really not um, I, I, He's just a, Such a trusted uh, a member of the clan that I can actually break down some of his attacks without him being offended. So um, That's why I'm doing that and not with someone else's uh, So anyway he comes in now now this worked absolutely wonderfully. He comes in first with, with the hog riders 
and clears out all of these defenses with the hog riders only problem was was that he didn't clear out the clan castle troops first now in this case he did not get hurt by it there were no clan castle troops but you have to try to get those clan castle troops out of the clan castle before you put the first hog on the base because if they happen to have clan castle troops no matter what they were even if they were archers they would have followed those hog riders around the base and just decapitated them so fast so whenever you're using hog riders make sure you pull those clan castle troops out first um other than that it was a really good attack he, he used the rage spell he pushed those hog riders they split up they went around to both sides he got everything but that one center air defense and this is a perfect example of and now that's it's a town hall seven i believe that air defense is max for town hall seven now he's got two or three dragons in the core and just that one little air defense in the core with him but one air defense can literally take out every single dragon in your raid if it's buried deep enough and if you notice what's left around this air defense well he's got um, the dark elixir storage town hall and two other storages so that is dug in deep that can literally take out every single dragon in his raid and it did now um, luckily or smartly but everyone you <laughs> whichever way you want to go with it he also had some ground troops that he put in there with him um, he, he has uh, the, the barbarian came with some wizards and they easily came in there's no there's no more ground targeting defenses so they easily came in took out the air defense took out the rest of the trash buildings there and and done so lesson to be learned from here if you're gonna use dragons with with hog riders which is a danger I've seen a, I don't know why but I've seen a lot of players from Japan they love the ho the hog rider dragon combination if you're going to use hog riders that's great um, use a surgical deployment surgical means puts don't put a whole giant group in at one time um, try to see try to get them to path right towards the air defense and use one or I mean three or maybe four hog riders and use the heal spell with them if you can and just make sure you pull the clan castle troops out first because if you don't you will be very disappointed every single time that there's clan castle troops in there and I know that when you use dragons you kind of get lazy on the clan castle troops because dragons are one of those few troops that can handle the clan castle troops in route very well so dragon attackers out there they kind of get lazy on pulling those clan castle troops out because you kind of don't have to all the time with the dragon attack so here's his creeper again now he didn't because of the location of the first two air defenses he opted not to take out the first two air defenses even though he hit them both with that one earthquake so that first earthquake hit both air defenses um even though he only got a barely little corner of each one it damaged them both equally but he opted not to go for that second air defense because it was so close to the edge and he took out these other two air defenses uh that were a little deeper into the base and again he starts off kind of the same way he starts off in the two corners he starts clean, cleaning out these corner buildings first and that prevents a, a, the giant group of dragons to go around the base on the round the outside which is just that's doom every single time uh, and now if you notice all these dragons are heading in towards the base he's got a big cluster of them down bottom and immediately that you know it didn't take long for them to decide to, uh, they love go I don't know why <laughs> and I think this is kind of Supercell's way of managing uh, some troops. I'm not saying they're hindering the troop, but if they gave them this AI that just instantly put them to the core, they would be one of those troops that everyone would use and everyone would three star with them every time. So they make the dragons kind of difficult to use. Uh, you don't have a lot of different units in there. You may have eight or ten dragons. So it may seem like a really simple thing to do, but it's really not. And as you get higher up in town level, you have to use other troops with them in order to manage all these all these different types of bases. Uh, elite players will use the, the Archer Queen and healers and use her to take out different different uh, points around the base. Maybe use a jump spell to get her through the walls. Maybe use some wall breakers at key locations. Uh, I, I've seen some great attackers. They'll use one or two giants and wall breakers and they'll put a giant in and a couple of wall breakers behind the giant the giant will tank for the wall breakers they'll break through the wall and you're wondering why would they do that at that particular area and then uh 45 seconds later the archer queen walks her way down to that exact area and goes into the base so i've seen a lot of great techniques used with a, with the archer queen and the dragon so that's something that you may want to look at uh, once you're in town hall nine uh, th this is gonna be a quick video. So this is the last attack from David. I was, now he's attacking a Town Hall eight, which he is a max Town Hall seven. So he's not quite Town Hall eight yet. He's taking his time in Town Hall seven, which is a great idea. And uh, we had been talking to him a little bit. He's been working with Creeper. 
Uh, I'm going to show a lot. Uh, Dave loves to do the dragon attacks. I will show a lot of, of Dave's progress, and you will see just exactly where he will get once he uh, once he gets into this attack a little deeper. He's just starting out. So starts off at the point up top, and he did start off with a couple of dragons on the outer parts of the point, and he did manage to get the dragons to, to start entering the base. Uh, as it is now, he's got a large group of group of the dragons going around the outside of the base towards the right. And he also has the archer, I mean the archer king. The new troop, the archer king, is tanking for <laughs> tanking for the bowlers. And I've got the bowlers in the clan castle. Now, when you are requesting troops for, for your clan castle troops, whenever you get a town hall 10 troop, like a, the bowlers or the minor, they, they may seem squishy in town hall 10. They may seem like they, they, they die real fast, but they won't die fast in town hall 7. They have a lot of hit points for a Town Hall 7 troop. For Town Hall 10 troop, they may be kind of weak, but for Town Hall 7, look how long these bowlers stay up. They end up taking out the backside air defense. They're, he's, they're still going. I think that Tesla finally gets them, and at this point, we have one Tesla left, one Wizard Tower left, three dragons left, and that Tesla and that uh, Wizard Tower, they're just not strong enough to take out those dragons. So, um, D Dave had got a bunch of three stars, still working on some of the technique. Wanted to show some of the things that he had done that wasn't quite uh, what we would like to see as the, as the coaches and as the, the leaders of clans uh, for the dragon attacks. And I'm going to take this opportunity to show everyone um, hopefully how to do it right. So, hope you enjoyed the video during this, the dragon event. Come and sub to the channel, guys. Easy Street Gaming on YouTube. Visit us online, www.clashmadeeasy.com. And... As always, enjoyed making the video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.